Today what I'm going to do is control the robot through an iPhone and thanks to Broncount which has posted a, a video on, uh, on YouTube showing this example and then he has sent me the um, Arduino code so I can actually con configure the iPhone through the PC into the robot to control it. So this is pretty handy because you can create as many sliders as you want and um, with that, um, each slider corresponds to each servo that is included in built into the um, into the robot. So um, for now, what I did, I have only 12 sliders, and only 10 are working because uh, the head is not connected to this Arduino board. There, on this Arduino board, there's only this side of the the robot. So I use only 10 servos on it. Anyway, so we can control the um, movements. Um, I don't know if you can see very well. We can control the movements with the sliders going up and down. If you move it like this, and it responds pretty well. Depending on uh, your Wi-Fi connection, uh, your wireless connection, that's what I mean. Uh, if you're too far from your router, you may end up with a little bit of problems because the phone goes to the router back into the computer to control. So you may have a little bit of, um, of uh, losing some, uh, some connections. I don't know what it is exactly. Anyway, works pretty well. So I'm going to show you this is a full drink because everybody has been asking how much it can carry and um, so it's you can hear there's the tea inside. So we're going to close the fingers. Right, let's do it like this. Like that. Very good. Yeah. So now that he got that in the hand, can carry the drink up. And then we can um, lift it like this. And uh, what else? What we can do? I can draw up like that and drop it like this. That was fast. Serve me a drink, please. Yeah. All right. Yeah, anyway, this is pretty fun because uh, you can control everything very fast. And it, ha it is pretty handy also for to, um, to see what kind of position uh, you, you want to use. Let's say you want to create and capture a position into my robot lab. It can um, help you to see forward what kind of movement is allowed with the robot. So it's pretty nice. Okay, this is to show you uh, that the robot can carry a little a bit heavy, like a power drill. It weighs about 1 kilo.2 and um, I'm going to control it with the iPhone. So like this uh, you can see a little bit how it goes. I have to hold the robot on the side because the whole structure is not really steady and since the, the, um, the power drill is heavy it might just fall off. Okay, I'm gonna pull up uh, with the bicep. 
the drill and then with the shoulder rotation you see and now I'm gonna rotate this like that the wrist is not tight enough it can actually uh, really move on the side there I don't think uh, if I do this more, I don't think it's going to do like with humans. It's not going to get stronger and stronger. I think it's going to be the other way. Anyway, and let's see when we have the, the arm totally extended, how much he can carry it up. Even me, I have to hold the whole robot because otherwise it's, it's going to fall forward. Yeah. All right. I'm trying to do this a little bit slow, otherwise it shakes like hell. Okay, that's it. Alright, this is to show um, the scale, it's at uh, zero gram and now I have the power drill <coughs> that the move can carry and I'm gonna put it on the scale like this to show how much, I thought I was, I was pretty wrong, <coughs> I said uh, 1 kilo 2, 1 kilo 2 and it's 1 kilo 5 so that's it can carry that 